Nintendo Bash Ash asks, can you beat Brutal Doom without killing anything and we you ever do Doom 3 or Doom 64? Well, technically those are two questions, but okay. I don't know if Brutal Doom is possible without killing anything since I haven't played that mod since 2012. I won't do Doom 3 because it doesn't fit with the pace of this channel and Doom 64 is too easy um, compared to the wilds I'm going for. So no. Junior X asks, Man, make a video about missing pixels on sprites of Doom game. Will be nice. I already did. And if I missed some, they're not worthy of a full video. The Last Dwarf asks, Why Kako Demon have anus? Okay, it's a demon, but it's necessary, XD? Hey, demons need to take dumps too. Biscuit Lover 3096 asks, H, E or B? Be honest. H. Wild Potato Industries asks, WTF, I just subbed yesterday when you were at 300 subs? Man, congrats. My question is, have you ever thought of looking at some beta content for Doom 3 or Doom 64? Those two games, well... Um, whoops, sorry dude, I forgot to expand your comments when taking a screenshot. I'm not interested in Doom 3 or Doom 64. Maybe in the future I will be, but for now I'm not planning anything. Henrik Ferreira asks, have you ever thought of making videos based on Doom gameplay mods? Stuff like Brutal Doom, Meta Doom, High Noon Drifter, GMOTA, etc. I'm a filthy purist, so unlikely. Unless it's something like Quake 1.5, where the mod keeps the same gameplay mechanics and feeling. Mulligan Wizard asks, Love your content. What's your favorite Doom map pack slash mod? My favorite Doom map pack is Hellreview 2. I like the fair challenge it provides, the music, and the atmosphere. Uh, honestly, I haven't looked at any modern map packs yet, so who knows, maybe I'll find something better. For mods, I choose Revenant 100 Sprite Fix mod. Nero Koso asks, How did you beat Algorithm? I must know. Friend asked me to ask. Smiley face. Um, I wish I knew. All I did was upload consistently, barely get any dislikes, not spamming every video I make on social media to gain traffic. I guess I just got lucky. Afflicted one asks, I can't determine your accent. What is your native tongue? Dutch. Jake Yu asks, Undoubtedly, what piqued our interest was your detailed analysis of Doom-related trivia. It's a nice mix between your voice and method of exposition. Would you be willing to gear your analytical videos towards popular watts? you'd easily be able to quintuple your subscriber count. Um, not yet, I'm sticking to vanilla mechanics for now until I run out of things to talk about. Riddle asks, what is your favorite Doom? Wad slash mod? My personal favorites are Winter's Fury for my Fav mod and either Hellreview 2 or Sunder for the Wad. Hellreview 2 for favorite Wad, Revenant 100 Sprite Fix for a favorite mod. Computer Spieler 64 asks, if you would be a monster from Doom 1 or 2, which would you be? The Cyber Demon, because he has juicy glutes, and those will definitely help me with my powerlifting career. Magically asks, will you feature a playthrough of the H2 mod? I will, if I ever decide to nuke my channel from the internet. Joko49 Pereth asks, how old are you? When did you start playing Doom? Age Doom is yes or no no? Hey, those are three questions, but fine. I'm in my mid 20s, I started playing when I was three, and Age Doom referred to the previous question. Phil Safe asks Would my idea for a Doom mod be good? Fantastic Phil Safe, an enemy randomizer that randomizes enemies from other games like Aeons of Death, but it plays like Series Sam, and to achieve the playstyle, it makes the player and enemy smaller, pseudo map enlargening and makes the enemy spawn spawn in three of the enemy types, except the Baron of Hell, Archfall, Chain Gunner, Revenant, Pain Elemental, Cyberdemon, and Spider Mastermind spawns. No weapon cluster like AOD, maybe either enhanced Doom weapons or just custom weapons. Well, that's a long question. I gotta keep it short because I have a lot to go through, but if you randomize it like Quake 1.5 uh, does, it should work out perfectly. Also ensure that monsters and weapons are in perfect balance, so the player can act quick and know how to deal with combat situations swiftly. Mr. Nasa asks, can I have your opinion on Half-Life? 
I like the lore, quirks, visuals, weapons, enemy design, its development history, pretty much everything, but I don't like playing it. I just cannot get into the gameplay. Goat asks, how about an in-depth analysis on the tricks and systems used to make Doom appear 3D? That's definitely planned, it's been on my to-do list from the beginning. The Mighty Aqua asks, when did you find out about Doom and why do you like it? My father brought uh, home the Shareware Doom when I was very young. I'd watch him play the game and cover my eyes during the scary sections. Why I like it? For many reasons. Watch Game Maker's Toolkit's video, What Can We Learn From Doom? Why it's so great. I must watch. Rick S asks, have you made any of your own wads? Not really. I never got into making Doom levels and mods. I enjoyed Quake 2 level editors and modding more. I once started working on a wad called Paper Doom, where I would draw all the weapons, enemies and textures using MS Paint, but it didn't really get far. Ash Lee asks, what's your opinion on New Blood Interactive's game Dusk? And if the opinion is favorable, will you play it? Visually it looks pretty cool, there's just something about it that doesn't interest me. Most retro shooters completely miss the point what made retro shooters great. You know, it's not only about going fast and shooting big guns. So I cannot praise or bash Dusk, I haven't played it, probably not planning to. Tristan Crossley asks, will you do a playthrough of Scythe 2? What are some map packs you plan on playing in the future? After Hellreveal 2, I'll take on viewer requested levels, so I will play Scythe 2 levels if you want me to. I'm not going to play complete map packs anymore, since they may get boring. Tanzil Ahmed asks, Should Halo and Doom cross over? They already did. Halo guy wears the same armor as Doom man. Young Meister asks, Will you make more videos, like the RNG or Particle one, about the IT games? I'd love to see some even more in-depth technical slash programming stuff about the old id engines they are planned just need time to make them fearless we asks i really like the analytics video you do do you have any new ones planned soon yep i have many planned i'll try to finish the pacifist episode 4 video soon max lewis asks would you ever do similar analysis videos for built engine games like duke nukem 3d or blood probably not never got into built engine games no matter how much i tried Stevie McDonald asks, I have a theory that Doom Guy's favorite meal is pecan pie. Is it possible for you to make a convincing theory video? Really, all I have is that the imp kind of looks like a pecan. Do you think the imp looks like a pecan? Publish a peer reviewed research paper about your theory, and I will happily make a very convincing video about it. And yes, it does indeed kind of look like a pecan. Peach Spice asks, I loved Doom and was glad to see another YouTuber pop up who had a passion for it as well. My question is, have you ever played any of the unlicensed Doom expansions released back in the game's heyday? Stuff like last episodes for Doom, or the D-Zone series of expansions that were released commercially but not licensed by id Software themselves. Plenty of them are fairly obscure, and I'd like to see you do a video on them sometime. Epic smiley face. That's a long question, unfortunately I have a short answer and it is no. I haven't played them, if they are very strange and playable, I can give them a try. Baxter Spark asks, what are you looking forward to in Doom Eternal? The same gameplay and feeling like Doom 2016, hoping for more balanced weapons and upgrades, and less arenas where you are locked fighting demons until it's clear. Smanu Game asks, I have no question this video came up on my recommended and I want to see if I make it in the next video. Congrats, you do. Aquajet asks, thoughts on the new 8 second world record achieved recently? Very impressive. I honestly had no idea how impressive it was until I watched Carl Jobs' videos. 4 Shock Blast is a living legend. Jar Ling asks, do Lost Souls have eyes? No. Felipse I asks, congratulations, great content. My question is, do you... Eh? Sniff Griff asks, ever thought about getting into game development? Why? Why not? I was 13 when I started programming. I made crappy Quake 2 mods and initially had the dream to become a game developer. I soon realized that I don't have the patience to develop games as I want to see quick results. That is pretty difficult since I'm mostly a C and C++ programmer, so no. I prefer to play or mod games than making them. Canadian Pig asks, what got you into Doom? 
Why do you love this game over others? My dad showed me, and I will again refer to this video why I love it so much. Austin Burlson asks, do you have any plans for 5k, 10k or 100k? 5k? No. Already surpassed it as of shooting this video. 10k? No. 100k? I guess I will do an unboxing video of the silver play button? I don't know. Skyrilla asks, here's my question to you. When did you get in touch with and what does Doom mean to you? How has it affected your outlook on first person shooter video games as entertainment, science, technology slash culture, and a personal outlet? Please take your time to think about it. Smiley face. Well, I got in touch with Doom when I was 3 years old. Personally, I think FPS gameplay peaked with Doom 2, and then I got kinda spoiled. It made me a bit critical of other FPS games. Uh, from a technological point of view, it showed how much progress can be made within a couple of years by a small team of talented people. Look at how much the game engine evolved from Wolfstein 3D to Doom, and Doom to Quake, it's crazy. Personal outlet? It may sound weird, but I find, I find Doom a relaxing game. There's just something very soothing to the soul when you complete a difficult level. Nick asks, will you do a video showing more experimentation in Doom with the hex edited RNG table? I could do a live stream, although I personally think it will get boring quick. Robot Krabs asks, what's your favorite Doom level? Of Doom 1? Probably E1 M3. I like the visuals and how much there is to explore. Killacken2000 asks, can you do more videos about the Doom source code and what goes on behind the scenes? Yep, will do. Roman Orakov asks, whoa, the most funny video here yet. Cash got inspired a lot, smiley face. My question will be, what was the real reason for you to start this channel? As far as I remember, it was meant to be a practice for something. I really enjoy YouTubers that play ridiculously difficult levels in games and they narrate why and what they're doing. No one was playing crazy Doom levels, so I took matters into my own hands. Moscow Vicent asks, I didn't do more videos on Doom 1 and 2 secrets and other things like how things were made, like how did they get the guns in the game or those photos or modeled. Uh, I don't quite understand the first half of your question, but I will make a video about the real life guns and other objects they use for the game. Asta Roth Hentai Guy asks, New Doom fan, what should I know? Gameplay tips and tricks and other whatnots. Watch this video right now. Max Gunch asks, Ever play any of the modern Doom games? Yes, I have. I have a Doom 2016 100% Nightmare playlist on this channel. Clovis E. Merovingian asks, Are you interested in other vintage FPSs? If so, which ones? Don't have to only be Doom Engine games. I guess Serious Sam is considered vintage now. So that one. Also Quake 1 and Quake 2. Skelligant asks, If you could change one thing about Vanilla Doom's weapons, what would it be? For me it's a toss up between buffing the fist's damage and speeding up the chain gun. Both things I can live with as they are, but always appreciate seeing buffed in mods. Smiley face. I'd get rid of the weird pooling effect the chainsaw has when using in monsters. It's pretty awkward. It should be like the chainsaw in Doom 3, just not as powerful. Dance Cabbage asks, can you try playing Doom 3 without a flashlight? Dun dun dun. People thought my Quake 2 videos were dark, so Doom 3 with no light is out of the question. Terry Trollface asks, What was the hardest part about learning to code? What I mean is, when you were learning coding, was there something that made it particularly difficult for you to wrap your head around? The abstract part of programming was probably the most difficult. Like I said before, I mostly program in C and C++, so when I had to use pointers for the first time, I just couldn't visualize what was going on at all. After I learned how computers store data and what addresses are, it, um, it became very clear. Often you're just gonna have to learn about the hardware to understand your software. Travis C asks, favorite song from Doom? Doom 1, Deep Into the Code. Doom 2, Message for the Archfell. Mr. Scene asks, opinions on Chex Quest? We didn't get that here in Europe, I think, so I cannot associate any childhood memories with it. Doesn't look interesting to me. Still cool how it was a prize found in cereal boxes though. Andreas Papadopoulos asks, How long have you been a YouTuber and do you remember the day Doom got released? My old channel is from 2007, so pretty damn long. 
I wouldn't have considered myself a YouTuber back then, only after starting this channel, so I would say since November 2018. Uh, I don't remember the day Doom got released because I probably was still in diapers. And that's it for now, stay tuned for part 2.